roots of the plant are growing downwards. Why do the roots grow downwards? Are they responding to stimuli? Think about it. We have learned that plants respond to stimuli. Besides touch and sunlight, plants also respond to water and gravity. Let's find out the parts of a plant that respond to water and gravity. Plants need water. Which part of a plant responds to water? Discuss this with your friends. Plan and carry out an experiment to find out. Click on Hui Li to see her experiment. I need some cotton, water, a petri dish, and three green bean seedlings. First, wet the cotton with water. Next, put the wet cotton on one side of the petri dish. Then, put seedling A, seedling B, and seedling C on the other side of the petri dish. The root of seedling A should point away from the wet cotton. The root of seedling B should point towards the wet cotton. The root of seedling C should be parallel to the wet cotton. Then, I will leave the specimen for 5 days. After 5 days, I will look at the seedlings. What do you think will happen to the seedlings? Write your answer on your activity sheet. Now, carry out your own experiment. Hui Li has carried out her experiment. Let's observe Hui Li seedlings after five days. Click on seedling A to see what has happened. Now, click on seedling B to see what has happened. Now, click on seedling C to see what has happened. Which part of the plants responds to water? Write your answer on your activity sheet. Click check answer to find out. The roots of the plants respond to water. Roots grow downwards to get water from the soil. Plants respond to gravity. The gravity is a force that causes objects to point downwards toward the earth. Which part of a plant responds to gravity? Discuss this with your friends. Plan and carry out an experiment to find out. Click on Anna to see her experiment. I need some cotton, a petri dish, sticky tape, green bean seedlings, and water. First, put some cotton onto the petri dish. Next, use some sticky tape to stick the seedlings onto the cotton. Then, wet the cotton with water. The cotton should be slightly wet. 
Put the petri dish in a vertical position. Adjust the seedlings. The root of seedling A should point upwards. The root of seedling B should point downwards. The root of seedling C should be horizontal. I will leave the specimen for 5 days. After 5 days, I will look at the seedlings. What do you think will happen to the seedlings? Write your answer on your activity sheet. Now, carry out your own experiment. Anna has carried out her experiment. Let's observe Anna's seedlings after five days. Click on seedling A to see what has happened. Now, click on seedling B to see what has happened. Now, click on seedling C to see what has happened. Which part of the plant responds to gravity? Write your answer in your activity sheet. Click Check Answer to find out. When a seed of a plant starts to grow, a tiny root comes out first. The root always grows downwards. The roots of the plants respond to gravity. Roots respond to water and gravity. Roots grow towards water. Roots grow downwards toward the gravitational pull of the earth. Let's do this activity. Get into pairs. Draw a plant which shows its shoots, stem, fruits and roots on a piece of paper like this. Then write water or gravity as stimuli anywhere on the paper. Exchange the paper with your partner. Your partner has to draw an arrow to show which part of the plant responds to the stimuli given. Take turns to do this activity with your partner. The person with more points is the winner. Look at this experiment. Which piece of cotton do you think the root will grow towards? Click on the correct piece of cotton. Well done! The root will grow towards the wet cotton. It responds to water. Look at the picture. Which part of a plant responds to gravity? Click on the box to key in your answer. Then click Done. Try again. Whoops! The roots of a plant respond to gravity. Look at the picture carefully. Click on the boxes to key in your answers. Then click Done. Thank you.
Wonderful! The shoots of the plant will move upwards while the roots of the plant will move downwards. The roots of the plant respond to gravity and water. The roots of plants respond to water and gravity. The roots grow downwards towards water. The roots also grow downwards in response to gravity. We have learned that roots grow downwards toward water and gravity. What will happen if water and gravity are not in the same direction? Will roots grow towards water or gravity? Let's carry out a test to find out. You will need a green bean, a sponge with a string attached to it, and some water. Wet the sponge. Insert the seed into the bottom part of the sponge. Hang the sponge anywhere where the seed can get enough sunlight. Observe how the seed grows. Record your findings in your exercise book. Discuss your findings with the class.